A tornado tears through a Genesee County community in the Grand Blanc area overnight, knocking down trees, knocking out power, and rupturing gas lines. Thank you for joining us this noon. I'm Rhonda Walker. And I'm Kim DeGiulio in for Jason Colthorpe this noon. So that, that tornado touched down in Grand Blanc, which is located just south of Flint, and it's only the second ever February tornado here in southeast Michigan. So it is rare. Nick Monticelli joins us now on the ground talking to residents all morning morning long as they survey the damage. Nick. Good afternoon. The weather continues to be a challenge out here. It is getting colder. It was raining. Now we have snow on our hands for these crews that are trying to begin the cleanup process. You can see this tornado took down multiple power poles and power lines, knocking out power to 15,000 people off the bat. You can see down here further on Reed Road, utility crews and other crews trying to just move debris and trees out of the way. And then the worst hit is this industrial warehouse right at the corner of Dort Highway and Reed. We're told this section of it that was hit is a janitorial supply warehouse, but it seems like there's so much more inside of that building. Again, the tornado started or happened at about 1.20 this morning, right in the middle of the night, hitting this warehouse, hitting homes, hitting neighborhoods. But fortunately, there are no injuries, at least none that have been reported to Grand Lake officials, whether it's the township or the city. The National Weather Service will be out here conducting a survey to look at the damage to get some more data on the tornado itself. But again, this intersection at Dorton Reed, probably the hardest hit. But take a look at this, an apple orchard property that was really decimated by this, multiple trees down all around the home. The home, though, somehow saved. And I went, we went running down to the basement as fast as we could. And um, then it was just the house was just, you know, just shaking. And um, uh, it, I thought we were going to, I thought I was going to die. Honestly, I thought it was a, there was no way. As we come back out here, something I'd like you to listen to for a moment. That sound off in the distance, according to officials here, is the sound of an open gas line, something else they have been working on to shut off so many different challenges that keep layering themselves one on top of another, trying to get this area cleaned up and get Dort Highway open again. We're in Grand Lake Township, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. All right, Nick, get to somewhere safe, please. Thank you for that report. Uh, the National Weather Service says a tornado also touched down in Marshall, Michigan. Now, that's a 20-minute drive just east of Battle Creek. So far, there have been no reports of injuries. And as we mentioned, something like this in February, super rare. Thank goodness there haven't been any reported injuries, mm -hmm. Ashley. But man, you see that damage there. It was really packing quite a punch. Absolutely. And especially when it happens during the overnight and you can't see what's coming. And so there were the two confirmed uh, tornadoes across the state of Michigan, a third potential one that we're waiting on the National Weather Service to confirm or not. But we've been focusing a lot on Grand Blank that you just saw Nick Monticelli out at. And that was a radar confirmed tornado. So we still don't have the rating from the National Weather Service yet. But uh, meteorologists look at a couple different radar products to determine whether a tornado is on the ground. One was the velocity, which is our wind detector. You see green and red, which it would indicate that you have rotation. You have um, forward and backward motion from the radar site. You then compare that to the debris detector in which we're looking for a debris ball in the same place as the rotating winds. And you have it right here in Grand Blanc, both matching up same time frame around 118, 119 in the morning. So we can confirm just based on our radar tools without even looking at that damage that Nick had there, that there was a confirmed tornado on the ground. Now we're shifting our attention to this wind advisory and these winds ushering in brutally cold air. Wind advisory till 7 p.m. for all of southeastern Michigan. But check this out. We are at 33 in Troy, 35 in Detroit, Ludington and Big Rapids in the teens. When we put our 24-hour temperature change on, kind of averaging out anywhere between 30 to 45 degrees cooler right now than where we were this time yesterday. Winds are picking up. We already have gusts over 45 miles per hour in Flint and some snow coming down on the west side of the state. Quick look at the rest of your afternoon tumbling temperatures. We'll have more on this forecast coming up in a few minutes. But of course, you can track the huge change in temperatures with our forewarned weather app. And it's a great way to get those severe weather alerts sent straight to your phone, just like you would have last night. So download it in the app store.